But you know, when you're like from Southeast London, you just don't think about being famous. You just don't think, oh yeah, I'm going to be a pop star. You might have joked about it, but it wasn't something that you really thought you could seriously become. Well, you're dirty and sweet, clad in black, don't look back and I love you. You're dirty and sweet, oh yeah. When a band's successful, everybody takes credit. Everybody says they did this and they did that and it was their idea. Culture Club was a big glorious accident. You know, nobody ever thought little girls were gonna scream at me. Yeah, I think this tour particularly was probably the best we've been in each other's company. And I think what it is, is when you get older, you have to realize, you realize that you have to let people be who they are. You know, I think that we've um, we've evolved, you know, and we've transcended a lot of the kind of um, issues that we had. And I think we're able just able to talk about things in a different way now. You know, we laugh a lot. They they find me more easygoing. Because you know, sometimes people like they can't accept that you're a different person. Do you know what I mean? And initially, when we got back together a few years ago, it was like, guys, I'm not that person. Get over it. <laughs> and that's not who I am anymore. You know, yes, there's shades of that, obviously. Culture Club is, it is Culture Club because of the people that are in it. You know, it's everything that's wrong with it, everything that's right with it, you know, is, is because of those sort of ingredients and personalities and um, you only really realise that when you get on stage.
Good evening, Wembley. What a lovely reception, and how amazing to be in London. You look so young. <laughs> Botox, or is it miracles? Let me see you jump! very resplendent this evening. I encourage all forms of exhibitionism. Yeah. Oh, you thought you, was, you thought you were being subtle this evening, did you? You look hot. Shall we tumble? So 
So we are Culture Club. We specialize in these kind of happy, sad, kind of oxymoron types of songs where they seem really happy, but actually they're a little bit melancholy. And I think that kind of sums up the human condition quite perfectly. This one's very affirmative, it's called Move Away. Set me free, you set me free. 
center stage, the lovely Teresa Bailey, and for the purpose of this song, Teresa was going to pretend to be my estranged girlfriend. It could happen. This one's called Black Money. I should be so lucky, right? Sing along if you want. Do you deal in black money? 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 
find you cross out every emotion Standing right behind the shadow of devotion Somebody else in life can not be mine But when you love someone They don't love you in return When you love someone You got money But you, you deal In black money Do you deal In black money Nothing could come between us Magic potions, won't you save them for two? Somebody else in life cannot be mine But when you love Money. Do you 
Thank you. This one's called Time Clock of the Heart. Let's see if we can inject some romance into your hearts. <laughs> Just send out some loving vibes. 
After all, we are a multicultural club. We've been running for over 30 years. Please don't tell me all that work was in vain. This one's called Like I Used To. Woo! Now don't be shy, girls. Come on and be fly, girls. under a nation that's the message and one of my heroes is a man who was spreading that message a long long time ago a man called Sly Stone now I was reading an interview with Sly Stone and he said I have many regrets I just can't think of one right now so this song is about Redemption, it's about recovery, it's about change. And you don't get wiser just because you get older. And I want to dedicate this song to my friend Fat Tony, he's hiding here somewhere. 
because he's one of the major reasons why I'm nine years sober. So. <laughs> I love you, Tony. This one's called Different Man. And I mean every word of it. Let's sing together, kids. Whoa. Hey, let's take it to church.
Tracy Brown Bailey there. It's a little song called Miss Me Blind.
there's always a song that starts the whole journey off. You know, you're, you start your band, you're sitting there trying to find your sound, and then one day you come across a song that kind of touches everybody. Quite literally. <laughs> and the interesting thing about this particular song, it was our third single and Virgin Records wanted to release it and I was like, absolutely no. This would be the biggest disaster ever. And it went to number one in 32 countries. <laughs> so what do I know? <laughs> This one's called, Do You Really Want To Hurt Me? Give me time To realize my crime Let me learn to me. 
emotional journey and um, I think I'm going to dedicate this song to to my friend Alice Alice Angelou Shaw wherever she is in the universe if she was here she would have been here tonight with her big red hair and her big red boobs having the time of her life And I know that she really loved this particular song. And it's always good to think about someone you really love when you sing a song like this. So I'd ask you to do the same thing. It's called Victims. Strange places I've never seen 
But you're always there Like a ghost in my dreams And I keep on telling you Please don't do the things When you do those things For my puppet strength At the strength of boy Push aside those that whisper I feel like a child on a dark night So glad that we could spend it together I could be all of yours now Just hold out your hand We go to war. John standing up, met means trouble. What's mine's my own, my own love. 
This one's called Karma Chameleon. Well, it would have to be.
Now we're in London, so it would make sense to, to end with some T-Rex. <laughs> Of course, David Bowie was everything, but Mark Bolan was also everything. <laughs> and he said, a one, two, let me buckle my shoe, yeah. <laughs> Amongst other things.
To hurt me Do 